this very moment, the media is already swarming outside the building. Really? Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. Then, let's begin. Let's go to baby, let's go poggers, 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 let's go to baby, let's go poggers. Where am I? That's exactly how I feel. Thank you for the sub 13 months. Let's go, baby. Where? Where is this? Wait, what the oh, fuck? Oh, silly me! This is my house! Huh? I... What happened to me? This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks... odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, oh, okay. we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must. So okay. Do I have to just like, let's go? I don't have a fucking command for let's go, dude. Damn, how many? Don't tell me it's six. Okay, it's only five. I'm assuming the first thing would be the swinging door. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. Ota, come over here. Ota? Ota, a girly magazine came in the mail. Is this for Ota or for Dad? Well, this is awkward, but there's no reaction. I tried my best. Let's investigate something else. Really? A swinging door that. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. So the a sliding door at the entrance. Okairi. I got you baited. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ota. You're late today. I'm home. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is omelet rice. Ooh. Your favorite. Dad isn't back yet, but you can start eating. Again? I'm okay. I ate already. But... I'm fine. Wait! Oh, Fucking stingy ass kid. Bitch ass hoe. My eyes. Part of the diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her though. It looks like a sad memory. It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. Hmm. Could it be menu? Oh, photo. A phone. It's the phone. Maybe try picking it up? Roger. Uh, my husband? My husband? Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. <coughs> Yes. What? My, my husband! Why? How could this happen? Oh, that's when she finds out he dies? Or he died? My eyes. 
The diner has changed again. However... These memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe. But we have to see this through. We have to. Understood. Uh, maybe... Agent or the Dante, cake. You've got a delicious cake. I wonder who it's for. Ota? Congratulations, Ota! I'm home! Ota! Congratulations on getting into the university, son! Congratulations! Why he's home? Hooray! Congrats! Easy. Look at Dude, this guy's so lit. Takaro. Takaro's my favorite character in this game. Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't he? He definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Let's do our best. Let's do our best. Gambare. <sighs> we have to keep supporting Ota. Work harder for Ota's dream. Easy. I'm killing this game right now. Bro. Oh, TV. We Probably. reproduced another painful memory. No, not quite. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true. But sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? Yes. You have three minutes, Date. It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? It? This is... Oto when he was small? Chocolate? Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Oh, that. Yes, of course I bought it. Look, the Momonoki man chocolate that you like. Here you go. That's not it. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki man. Oh. Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. Sorry. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Damn! Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! I hate this! I hate you, Mom! What? Wait, Ota! Uh, where did you go? Yikes! Uh, please, come out from hiding, Ota! Ota, I'm sorry! Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota! Ota! Come back! Ota! This shit is fucking sad. I'm about to cry. Oh, 
Kota? Takaro? Don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! I... I am sorry, Oda! Oda! Takaro! I can't do this on my own! Don't leave me! <laughs> Yikes. So that's what happened. Date, look at what you've done. If Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? Do I have to it choose is. now? A wall clock. Said deep within, so I'm going backwards. Fuck it. Welcome home. Did you get it for me? We've gone back in time. Time is a precious resource, Date. Don't waste it. Stop nagging me. I'll figure it out. from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? Oh, I have to choose. Fuck. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. But you're mean. You promised. You promised. Date. No, we're not. Date. Good. <laughs> uh, I guess we go forward then. I, I fucked up. I ran out of time. A wall clock. I guess we advanced time. I don't know. She did here. Ota, sweetie. Mom, I, uh, I. Uh... Huh. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so. Huh. Ota. Yeah. I love you both so much. I'll love you both no matter what. Oh, forever and ever. 
Oh, oh, I'll never forget this. Oh. Yeah, we are a family. We can do anything. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it's okay to go back now. Yes, I agree. By the way, Date. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your intuition. Ooh, what the heck is that? Motherfucking laughing shit, bro. What's wrong with you? Indelible memories sustained. Bugging out, bugging out, bugging out, bugging out. <clears throat> Sio Kuzai. Central Hospital. Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But, Mom. Why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Miami was following the van driven by the Ota in taxi. But when the van was hijacked in the Famisto parking lot, Miyumi was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Miyumi thought Ota was still in the van when he drove away. So she kept following him. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse. Miyumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found in the Okiori Fishery. Uh, Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Okay. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. Right, right, right. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Oda. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Oda. But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah. But I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No! I told you! It's Odoroki Man! Oh. Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Yeah. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. Yeah. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Yeah. Stupid. It's not Momonoki man. It's Odoroki man. Yeah. After I yelled at her, mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. 
My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Yeah. Uh... Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart... It didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota. How about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? Yeah, motherfucker, that you know what that is? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full-on crying. Makes sense. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, yeah. Dad? Oh, um, uh, Yes, Mom is the best mom in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say cheese! What the? Motherfucker, that's not in focus. Sorry, I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Huh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself, Ota? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. Yeah. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. Yeah. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. 
something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. Nice. You saved her life, you know. Maybe. Just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Goodbye. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. This fucking piece of shit. Oh my, dude. I'm looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiance. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> 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 Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all nighter. Zooming on in. Okay, that was another ending. Nice. Police headquarters. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. Okay. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What, what are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked on the box. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes, after Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! Tessa does some weird shit. There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Oh, she has the knife. You, you stay away from my boy! Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. Ota. She took the knife. What the fuck is going on now? Hey, what's this? She went from super Iris sappy to super serious, knife? dude. What the video the fuck? continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? 
I have learned new information. Uh oh. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. Oh, An shit. object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. But what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh. Let's go. Is that the only one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, so red is Ota. Okay. So red is Ota. Blue is Iris. But like. Blue is. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, red is Ota. Yellow is Mayumi. Right? Blue is Iris. But like fucked up in the head Iris. Right? Now we go here. Oh shit. That they stared out over the water, overcome with guilt, I would claim that she would remove the dandelions growing in his heads. What does that mean? After sinking with Iris, Date couldn't bring himself to believe her apparent delusions. Even so, she is still in danger. Date took Iris and Matsushita Diner. Date headed to Sagan residence. Leaving Iris in Ota and Mizuki's care, Hitomi told Date... Hitomi told Date that Iris had a brain tumor that will soon take her life. It's Iris' strange ideas were apparently the result of the tumor. Mizuki called Date in distress, claiming that Iris ran away. Looking for Iris, Date headed toward... To, to headed toward to the cold, cold storage warehouse. Inside the warehouse, Date discovered Iris's frozen corpse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's what happened. Okay. All right. Here we go. Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. Okay. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? 
If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. Okay. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on, and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? Why does the warehouse have to be kept at a freezing temperature? Maybe the AC is broken. So the on-off switch was broken, and they couldn't turn it off, right? But they could have shut off the electricity. I find it hard to imagine they would have left it running for no reason. The bills would have been expensive. To preserve something. To preserve something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? Her right eye was missing, not the left. That is a unique factor. But there was something else, something more peculiar. It was hidden in the engine compartment? The culprit was afraid that the body would be discovered, so they hid it under the hood. But why there? The ocean is right here. If they really wanted to hide the body, they could have put weights on it and sunk it into the water. But we do not know for certain that the culprit was attempting to dispose of the body. There is something mm. more unusual. It was completely frozen? Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight... Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, Allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? There's two... Are they twins? She was killed. Wait, what? She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. Oh. It's someone else. Which means. Iris is still alive! Not necessarily. She could be alive. This could be the real we Iris. We haven't confirmed that yet. 
multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Wait, I was so confused. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. She, she appears to have been pregnant. Do not worry, the uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean after she was killed? No, the fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. Okay. So she was killed after giving birth. So she got she gave birth and then she got stabbed, I guess. I think that's what happened. They took a right eye. To determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. Wait, what? 10 years? She was killed more than 10 years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night, we saw So here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnium. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw? was So's memory from more than 10 years ago. I believe that is the case. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. Aiba, who is this? Unknown. Is that, is that his mom and, and So Sejima's wife? Because he said that So Lord dumped right before he died and was like, to die by your own father. So. Shh. Mizuki and Ota kept searching for Iris, but unfortunately they did not turn, they didn't turn any, up anything. Iris's whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on investigation for now. It will eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I headed to So's mansion. I thought I told you never to show your face here again. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Questioning. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly, a gang of bodyguards stormed out of the mansion. In an instant, they surrounded me. Oh, here we go. We're about to go ham. We'd like to ask you to please leave. Oh damn, it'd be like that though. 
Motherfucker said, please leave, and we had to go. Okay. Damn it, so. There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. Okay, okay, we okay. We would have been calm detained down. immediately. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ugh. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. Okay. What do you think? Alice. Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. That's fine. All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Computer. Allow me to ask you three questions. Okay. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? When was the first time we saw the frozen corpse? Three days ago? Three days ago. Saturday night when I sinked at Abyss. Yes. In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Right. Question two. Who is the girl? Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. So it has to be connected to them. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Therefore... She knows about Alice. Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Yes. Aiba. Where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday, the Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Okay, things are getting really fucking spicy right now. This is what this is what I'm I'm here for. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Uh, what are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright, you try it. Where's Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Oh, I her forgot. Renju's still her alive. most trusted person. It's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Where's Ota? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. Alright, we're gonna talk about Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. 
told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Told Mizuki everything. About how Renji ran off with the assassin 89. How 89 is connected to Sosajima. And that Sajima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head, and spoke. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. About Alice? It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. Okay. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself. And then... He saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Um... What did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Oops. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Right. Did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. You see, why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. About Okio or a fishery? I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... Go on. I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. I see. Who's Alice, then? On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long was he managing the warehouse? Hey, Mizuki. 
How long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. So then the body was killed 18 years ago. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica EY, 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. A graduate of a Toku High School. What? Monica? Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Oh! Alice's... Monica. Hitomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. What? But why? Monka's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger oh, that. we're about to fucking, you know, go into fucking Hitomi's brain ass motherfucker. Let's go, bitch. Um, I'm in. I'm in. This is fucking getting crazy. So... <laughs> it's so crazy because we're learning about new characters still. We don't even know who the fuck. Is like is tr who the fuck truly is the two killers from long ass time ago, and this is before that now. So like, what the fuck is going on? You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity, and yet here you are. Cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? That's irrelevant. Because that body isn't Iris, and you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Why would Renju be questioned about dumping a body? where Monica was found. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once, when I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know yeah. you're hiding something. You yeah. know what happened 18 years ago. Yeah. And you knew she was pregnant. You yeah. were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything! Date, oh. she's not going to talk. Sync with her. Oh my god, I just got it. Iris is Monica's daughter. 
and Hitomi took her under the wing because Renju Renju is oh my god Iris oh my god no fucking way Iris is the is the daughter of Renju and Monica and they had an affair and then something happened where Renju or, or something I think Renju killed Monica or Hitomi killed Monica and and then Renju was like you need to take care of Iris as she as if she was your own baby this is the only thing the only reason why I'm saying that is because of the pink hair 